recorded the 4th of July, 2018. It's an asylum walkthrough. This is our entryway, which is eventually going to get uh, kind of like an old bank vault grating and a big door, and then into the big room. And you can see some of our nice leak right there. Off to the left is the stage all stood up. We built it modular so we could stand it up and get it out of the way. On the left there, you can see the door into the, the studio back room, the control room. That's looking out into our grand parking lot. And um, the dog park right across the street, well, across the, the fence there. That's the YMCA building in Heritage Landing, so you can find that easily on Google Earth. And that's probably the most traffic you're ever going to see down there. Fourth of July has all kinds of people come down there to watch fireworks. That's the big storage doors. Um, I don't know, 10 foot tall or some shit like that. This room will eventually get painted red and asphalt gray with a black ceiling when the ceiling stops leaking. Into the kitchen, which, eh, I don't know what we're going to do with that. This will be the lounge room, which is getting painted purple this week. And give you a little look around here. Of course, the ceiling's not done yet, so it looks really more ghastly than it needs to. Eventually, we'll have a coffered ceiling in here. And coming into the bathroom, we're going to do a, a big arched vault over the entryway here. Right up there. Which you can't see because it's dark. And our fine bathing facility, or relieving yourself facility, or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, good quality stuff there, man. Nicely stained. That looks out into the parking lot. We'll come back around to the main area. That's the dressing room area, which is mostly storage right now. And the ceiling that we're trying to decide what to do with. We might stain it, we might uh, paint it, don't know yet. And there's our big room. The stage in, in pieces right now. And uh, that's going to be the mirror wall. We'll have a, a big sheet of mirror mounted to that. Then back out into the parking lot, and then we'll go ahead and show you some of the technique we use on the lounge walls. This is basically a Venetian plaster technique. It's just basically taking drywall compound, um, applying it badly, like so, and you're trying to get it on there unevenly and then drag it with just basically a very steeply angled trowel and then kind of drag it down the wall to create a more textured, um, old-looking plaster effect. And... You know, if you got it too thick, you can always just scrape off a chunk, pick it up, move it around, play around with it. Um, under paint, it looks really pretty good. Um, you'll see this done in a lot of, like, uh, fancy restaurants and stuff like that. And we'll show you what some finished stuff looks like here in just a sec. This is in progress. And this is the finished stuff. And it just looks basically like a, a lousy plaster job. But, you know, an old building that's been redone a dozen times, you kind of get this effect. And then under paint with a little bit of aging, you can get a, a pretty nice effect that makes the walls look not quite so so flat and dull. <clears throat> Here's a little more. And uh, in the next video, we'll go through and we'll get some paint on there and give you an idea what that actually looks like. And that's all there is for that, so uh, thanks so much for watching.